Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm Jameson Also Brink, and we are one. Today, I want to talk about getting plugins on your deck, extending your deck, making it so that it can extend out as much as possible and get the most out of it. So today, we are going to be doing a tutorial, a guide on how to set up Decky Loader, the plugin loader and manager for the Steam Deck. It's a, it's a big one. There's like two, and this is the one that we're going to go over today. And it's going to include entering debug mode. You're going to have to go into desktop mode, but it's going to be worth it because it has a store built into it for the plugins. So once you get the fairly simple steps done, you can go back into game mode and just install everything. It's really nice. It's really cool. And I'm hoping for more plugins in the near future. So before we get into it fully, make sure to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar. Now, let's go on over to the deck. So... First up, you're going to want to go to Settings, System, and then you're going to go to Enable Developer Mode. Make sure that's switched on. Mine's already been switched on. Now, we just need to go to the bottom of our side menu here, go to Developer, and then we need to scroll down until we see this CEF Remote Debugging. Make sure that is enabled. Once that is enabled, then we can go switch over to desktop mode. Just do that by hitting that Steam button, power, switch to desktop mode. Okay, now that you have booted into desktop mode, you, there is going to be a program that you need to, to uh, run, and, that, and you can find it in this bottom menu. And if you go to System, you're going to see this uh, program called Console. It's a terminal that's built into Steam Deck, the Steam OS. And it essentially allows us to run commands. And that's how we're going to install the plugin manager. It needs a password setup. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and type out P-A-S-S-W-D. Hit enter. I'm not going to do it. I already set up my password. But if you hit enter and you've already set it up before, it will just prompt you to, hey, put, put the old password in. If that's the case, you can hit control C if you have a keyboard or just close the console and reopen it. You don't need it, it won't cause any issues. You you just don't need to enter your password again, or you can just change it if you want. If it doesn't prompt, if it prompts you for a new password, then it means that you need to put in your password and that you have to do that step before we get to the final step of installing the plugin, which like I said, it's, it's really easy. I'm gonna give you command in the video description below and you're going to be able to put it into this console. Just go ahead and copy and paste or whatever you need to do. In this case, I already have it copied. I'll hit paste. This is the command. You can always just, just type it out if you want with the Steam button plus X will bring up the on-screen if uh, keyboard if you do not have a mouse keyboard hooked up to your Steam Deck. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and just hit enter. It's going to download it. It's going to then ask you for your password. I'm going to put my password in is now going to install. I've already had it installed, but it's just going to install it again just to give you uh, an example of what it's going to take. It doesn't take a whole lot. Once it's done, we will then just boot back into game mode and be able to start downloading and messing around with our uh, everything. Yeah, so looks like everything's done. Uh, we can go ahead and quit out. I'm just going to uh, drop that down. We're going to return to game mode. Okay, now that we're in back into game mode, we can go ahead and hit the quick access menu. And that's just your bottom or right button with the three dots. And if everything went well, you will see this bottom uh, side nav tab that will say Decky. Now, if we go into settings, you can find that, hey, check for updates. It looks like there is an update I can update with. And you can also see what plugins you've installed. You can see, hey, look, there's an upgrade for one of mine. And then you can reload, uninstall. Sometimes they can get kind of stuck, so you might need to reload the plugin, which just means it's going to refresh it. So it's just going to bring it back in and make sure it works. You'll see the yellow dot. That means there's updates. Um, and then if we go up to this bottom or, or this top right icon, this is the store, and this is what's so nice is that you can go through this, just click A, and install and it's just a couple of different commands but and then it will install then you can see this is a lot of plugins already and we're just at the beginning of the steam decks life so i'm sure there's more to come let's explain a couple of these real quick 
the Proton DB badges will just show whenever you look at a game. It will say, hey, is this platinum? Is this? It just lets you essentially know how compatible it is. And then you got Fantastic, which will help you uh, adjust your fan curve and all that. It's not, I don't, I don't have issues with fans, but it could help with, with some people. System Toolbox, uh, which lets you uh, just essentially like remote terminal access. This is more advanced, so if you really don't know what you're doing, maybe not mess with this one. The CSS Loader is probably where a lot of people are going to want to be. Like I can enable animated synth wave backgrounds, and there's a lot of different options. You can see now I have a background down here. That's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of different ways to customize the styling, including creating your own styles and all that. And that'd be another video, obviously. Um, but uh, there's just there's so much to this, including this phantom um, setup that lets me do this persona style. Uh, essentially set up to look at my like recent games and even in the game library. And then if we go back, we can also see there is like quick launch, uh, music controls, vibrant deck, which you can adjust the essentially how contrast looks. And it, if you pump it up just a little bit, some games could really pop and, and just look that much better. Power tools is good for when you're doing emulation and you're having some issues with the CPU being bottleneck, you want to reduce those those CPU core counts threads uh, might boost some more CPU intensive emulators out there. Obviously, SNES isn't going to be one of those, but the newer ones or some of the mid range ones with the Wii potentially could work from uh, could benefit from something like that. There's also a Spotify plugin which doesn't work great right now. It needs to be updated. You got Bluetooth. You got Pause Games, which means you can. Essentially, start playing a game, pause it, switch to another game, and play that. Now, there's still going to be resources locked up in this, and may, and it's probably RAM is going to be a big one. I haven't tested this to see, but yeah. And then Audio Loader lets you just load in different sound effects for the Steam uh, game mode UI. It's, it's, it's nice. So there you go. That's the start of this uh, beautiful beautiful extending of your deck's life and just making your deck look personal, beautiful, and just the way you want. Like it's, it's fun and it's going to continue to grow. So download it. I've played with it so far and it's been pretty safe. So now that we're done setting up the plugins, looking through them, getting started on the bling bling, getting things kind of just looking better on our deck to show off also for ourselves. It's, it's nice to just treat ourselves every once in a while with some uh, nice looking UI and personalized. So with that, let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Do you like it? Was it easy to set up? Did you run into any issues? What plugins would you like to see? Is it, I mean, as a developer, I'm always curious. Maybe I pick one up. We'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, there's plenty of plugins still that I'm thinking about that could be worked into this um there's just so many things and this is still so early on with the steam deck that i'm sure there's going to be so many good plugins created in the near future so keep an eye out on this plugin manager and also the plugins and everything else thank you guys for watching check out my other videos and also check out the description below it has all the goodies in there um, including stuff to help support the channel but also just to make sure you set this up right peace out Ta -da!